What's going on, YouTube gang? It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my favorite plays for today's seven game main slate. Today is the 21st of February. Hope everybody's having an amazing Friday to start their weekend. The cash. If you really like the video, please subscribe if you're new or support the channel, man. I appreciate the love. Press that bell icon so all stay notified for new videos. Let's jump into it, y'all. We got great spots for today. Of course, we got some high studs in this plays but let's go to the center spot I definitely want to look into those plays but also give you some value spots as well so some plays you want to pivot from but you got nathan mckinnon man going against anaheim is a smash and play you got sebastian uh Ajo's in a good spot even boston patrice bergeron bergeron is also in a good play so those are top end guys you want to definitely take a look at but we're going to go for some saving spots here now going for a savings play uh we're going to go with ryan johansson against chicago definitely like this spot for him now chicago gives up a crazy amount man 101.1 fantasy points to the center position they allow almost around 12.4 shots on goal a game also we know that nick bono Bonino is also is going to be out today. Uh, you also got uh, Dushin. Doshain is also in a good spot on the second line. These are great um, value plays, in my opinion, for today. Now, they also give about 80.5 face points to the first line. Johansson's in that first line is also a good spot here. He just came off that 20 face point game against the Hurricanes in 16 minutes, y'all. He had four shots on goal and a goal in that game. And also, Chicago gives up one power play goal a game 4.2 goals a game so ryan johansson is a nice little safe spot if you want to pivot from the chalk plays um just a great spot overall in the center spot um like i said before you got nick boni uh bonino's also he's he wasn't a good spot but he's out um let's look into another good spot i like matthew barzal all right he's also in a good play now this is a four point implied to team total play for today Against Detroit, they allow average 62.8 face points to the center spot, 48.5 face points to the first line, and he's averaging 17 face points at home in the past five games. He's also averaging 30.5, uh, 30.3 face points in the past three games versus Detroit at home in the past three seasons. So great spot for Matthew Barzal here against Detroit um, as well. All right, let's look into our next spot. Look into the wing position. All right, going to the wing spot. All right, going to look into Anders Lee, man. I like this play as well against Detroit. All right, he also is in a good spot here. He's averaging 25 fans points in the past two games versus Detroit this season. All right, he had a goal in both of those games, a one assist in those games. He's also averaging three shots on goal in both of those games as well. Detroit is allowing an average 62.6 fans points to the wing position. And like I said before, 48.5 to the first line. He's also averaging 4.4 shots on goal a game. 1.4 blocks a game, averaging almost 14 fans points at home in the past two games. Anders Lee's in a great play. Definitely somebody you want to cons consider here going against Detroit. All right, now another play you want to look into. Uh, let's see, like Michael Granlung, man, against Chicago is also a great play. He's on the power play one line. Chicago's allowing 74.7 face points to the wing spot as well. And he's also averaging 18.4 of fans points went away he's also averaging 3.17 power play minutes a game in the past five games is also another guy you can look into is craig smith he's in a good spot um against chicago as well so those are great wing spots in my opinion definitely help out with your lines for today let's look into our defense man uh position for today all right now i want to look into ryan pollock man against Detroit. I just like I just like the Islanders in this play. It's a great stack in my opinion. All right, great spot for him. Detroit's allowing 55.8 fans points to the defense man position, around 26.3 fans points to the first line. He's also averaging 20.5 fans points in the past two games versus Detroit this season, averaging two assists a game in those games, 1.5 blocks in those games, and 1.5 shots on goal in both of those games. And in the past five games, he's been averaging 2.2 blocks a game. So Ryan Pulak, great play. Going against Detroit here, like the spot. All right, now another guy I could look into. You could look into Corey Krug. Man's on a good spot, man. Um, so great play for Boston. 
if you want to go here, he's averaging 19.8 fantasy points per game, went away, so he got great away splits, and averaging 4.8 shots on goal a game, one block a game, and also their opponent averaging 53.6 fantasy points to the center, uh, to the defense man position, and also give up more at home. So this is a great play, knowing that they give up a lot again at home instead of away games, which is crazy. They should be doing damage, but seems like they're actually hurting themselves playing at home so he's in a good spot as well let's go to our goalie position for today now going to the goalie position i'm gonna go with the highly favored squad once again all right with uh simeon ball off all right great spot man detroit is implied to score 1.9 team goals against him and like i said Islanders are actually heavily favored. A negative 320 money line against them, y'all. It's crazy. And there's a 2.1 goal favor for them. Detroit's given up around 24.8 saves a game. And he's been 4-0 and in the past three seasons versus Detroit. Averaging 31 fantasy points in the past four games against Detroit. Averaging 29.8 saves in the past five games. So, Semyon's in a great spot here to do damage. Like I, I just like Iron Nurse in this play, y'all. So these are my plays for today so far. If you like the plays, give a thumbs up. Any questions or concerns with your lines, comment below. Using Draft Dashboard Tools, so you want access to the rest of my player pool, click the link in the description to sign up. Once you have access, you have access to the NHL cheat sheet to give you the best plays of the slate, the sleepers, and your studs. Also, click on your watch players, access to your player pool, and you'll see my plays up top. Click that button, watch Mel's DFS picks, be the DraftKings or FanDuel, y'all. So I love y'all. Y'all collect that back for today. It's Metal DFS, and y'all stay blessed. Have a great weekend. I'll see y'all in the next video.